Before we begin, uh, Vegas, um, there, there's really no words I can say for everybody that's died, for everybody that's been hurt. Our thoughts are with you. I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry the domestic terrorist did this to you. Yeah. It affected you horribly. So hopefully everybody who lost anyone <coughs> gets the counseling, help they need. However they can cope. There's no right way to say what to do with it. There's no and right way. For those injured, for those hurt, those still going treatment, I hope everything comes out all right for you guys. So. That being said, this is Real Honesty with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland. That is the Dobinata. We are here for a raw Denver review. <clears throat> that was weird. It's a weird show. But they did a moment of silence, though, for the people yes. in Las Vegas, which was nice. It was really, really nice. Some people weren't silent during it, you dicks. Just saying. Look, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. That's that, how that words was... work. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. It was kind of mean for them to do it. But anyway. I'm just saying. saying. Oh, um, <laughs> It's not the time for this. No, you know what, though? No, this is how we deal with tragedy. We're not making fun. We're making jokes. We're not being mean. Anyway, start off with a match. Yes. Rollins versus Braun. Braun! I, I, I can't do that. I do that louder, but I have neighbors and I'm in a townhome. It's important to do it louder. I found that out from a girl I was with. She was a screamer. Anyway, <clears throat> Rollins and Braun. What? She was. Um, thought I was hurting her. Anyway, Rollins and Braun had a really good match. Rollins just kept giving everything to Braun, everything to Braun. And Braun's like, nope, scoop, power slam. The, the, fir the first pin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just and now to the other side of the ring, Seth Rollins goes where he'll stop. Oh, Nobody there he goes. Knows. Yes. And he t tried to break on through to the other side. Let's break on through to the otter slide. Oh, God, hello from the otter slide. The otter <laughs> limits. Otterly ridiculous. <laughs> Otters are weird at the zoo. Anyway, it's a good match, though. And Braun yes. won. Some people may say, I don't like the fact that he's beaten the tag team champions two weeks in a row, but he's Braun. But Braun Strowman is tag team champion. He, is, he might actually be, you know what, I would be okay with that. It would just be funny to have him as <laughs> tag team champion, then intercontinental champion, then universal champion, <laughs> then heavyweight champion. Make him the cruiserweight champion. They did it with Abyss in TNA, why not now? It would be the funniest fucking thing just to have him with all the belts <laughs> at once, except for the women's belt. The beard probably wouldn't pass very well. I mean, they would give it to Tamina. Or Santino. <laughs> Eric Young was a TNA Knockouts Women's Champion. Or TNA Knockouts Tag Team Champion at one point. I'm not kidding. Though DB. That was weird. Poor Eric Young. Good thing he's doing good in Sandy. Anyway, <clears throat> good stuff though. Good match. Braun wins. Yeah. And then um, he destroys... Rollins a little more. And then Ambrose comes out and Ambrose is like, I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> <laughs> and he got beat up, and then thoroughly, and then Sheamus and Cesaro <laughs> do, 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 do are gonna apparently challenge <clears throat> um, Ambrose and Rollins again. They beat them up, and it's like, okay, cool. I mean, if you you can add a little fresh coat of paint there, this might be fun. And then a few parts of Susan G. Scammon. Let me make it clear first. Breast cancer. Any woman that suffers from breast cancer. Any man that suffers from breast cancer because men suffer from it too. Any form of cancer. It is great that we can try to find a cure. Susan G. Komen is just not the best foundation to do that with. They don't give enough money to it. Do a little research. Just, just saying. It's ridiculous. And yet Dana Warrior being the egotist that her husband was. <coughs> shaking the ropes about as well as her husband did. And, I don't know, it seemed like she had a runny nose because she was full. I don't know. Anyway, so, moving on from that. It was good they honored these women. Yes. That survived breast cancer. That was great. I just don't like Dana Warrior. Not that that wasn't obvious. I, I was subtle about it. Subtle? No. Not um, even close. <clears throat> nope. But now, back to when they show the women. Mickey got a Depends joke made about her. Because it's piggy goddamn James all over again. This is 2010, because this is feeling like 2010. And... I believe that's around the time it I was fell out of watching wrestling for a while. Yeah, it was like... I don't blame you, because a lot of storylines were shit. Um, 
<clears throat> but then you have Alicia and Emma laughing. This just in Alicia Fox still exists. I always forget that she exists until she pops up on TV. Which is sad because... Alicia forgot. <laughs> Ronald Reagan's favorite flowers were forget-me-nots. Anyway, Naya and Alexa were... What? What? Memory ran out of his computer. Anyway, enough of that. Um, <clears throat> Naya ends up challenging Mickey to a match. Well, Alexa had Naya challenge Mickey to a match. Yes. Which happened a little later. Elias is really over. The fans were even che cheering and you know uh, singing along to his song a bit. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, Michael Cole wasn't there. That's why the commentary is better. Michael Cole is watching one of his sons get married, which is amazing. Or his son get married, which and is amazing. And my response to that was, you breed? Do you breed? You will. Grass. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Elias so beats Titus. Um, it was fine. It was fine for what it was. Elias got a quality win, I guess. I guess that's what a win over Titus in 2017 is. Yeah. Quality. <laughs> At least they're doing something with Elias. Not so much with Titus. Poor Apollo. Poor Apollo. I like Apollo. Um, <clears throat> and then Naya versus Mickey, which was decent. It was fine. Um, you had Alexa interfere and then got beat up. Well, because Mickey. Barely. You know, Mickey facing Alexa, though, at TLC will be fun. Yeah. You gotta have... I, I think they might have Emma face Asuka, because Emma can give her a good match. Watch TakeOver Brooklyn, or TakeOver London, if you don't believe me. That was actually a really good match at the end. <coughs> Charlie looked like a, wa a waitress at a restaurant I would visit every goddamn day. <laughs> you don't have the money for that. The restaurant or Charlie? Yes. Yeah, you're right. I mean, either one, honestly. Even if I had the money, I mean, you imagine eating out every single day. Ha, I said that wrong. Or did I? I knew exactly where you were going to go. <laughs> I was going to say, I figured that was coming, but the joke. that would have been too on the nose. <laughs> I mean, depending on how well you do it. And how well the aim is. God, we're going nowhere fast. <laughs> Let's move forward. Yes, like the Broncos, going nowhere Backward. fast. Backward. Forward. <laughs> And always twirling, twirling, twirling the war <laughs> Enzo said nothing in a backstage promo. Hooray! Best goddamn promo that hack's ever done. Um, I've done such a 180 on Enzo. It's gotten so annoying. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe it's because people say he's playing a heel now. When he was playing a heel in that feud with Cass, and people just didn't want to admit it because Cass was right. Cass was right about that. He's not right about who he supports for president, but... Man, whatever. There we go. Um, <clears throat> Matt and Jason Jordan, poor Matt Hardy, versus Gals and Anderson. This is based on a backstage segment because they called Jason Jordan nerd. Or nerd. I can't do that right. Nerd! Yeah, much better. Um, I like Jason Jordan. He's a good athlete. Matt Hardy, it's amazing he can still walk because he's beating his body up. I'm just saying. Yeah, but... This was bad. I mean, Gals and Anderson won. Anderson even picked up the pin, which was shocking. God. Yes. Gals um, and Andersons have a win? <laughs> that never happens. Never Go for does. it. By the way, the movie The Gallows is really good and really cheap. Um, <coughs> so, what? No, it was. It was a good horror movie. <laughs> um, so, Matt Hurry took, took the pin. Jason Jordan. I don't know what they're going to do with the guy. Absolutely Nothing. nothing. So, we then go to, um, oh yeah, I already covered Dana the Glory Hound Warrior. Um, then you had Reigns versus Miz. Where it Reigns, was a good match. It was. You had, you had Reigns, though, beat off the Miz, beat the Miz Taraj. I said that wrong. No, no, you were intentionally saying that. Oh yeah, I wrote it down, didn't I? I did. did? I did. I did, I did write oh, that hey. down. Yeah. Um, beat, <laughs> beat, beat, beat off Axel and the Buffalo, and... I guess they're written out of being the Miz because, well, a good match. They were pretty miserable after the match. Yes, they were. They were pretty miserable. It's I love this banding of chair shots of the head, but, like, shoulders, backs, ha, fuck you guys. We're just going to break you up. Um, yep. So, it was a really good match, and then Sheamus and Cesaro interfere on Miz's behalf. And they become the Miz Barrage. Jeremy Which is a cool name. It is a really cool name. 
Jeremy8911 actually called it on Twitter. Scroll through his tweets. You'll see what I mean. He's like, what if Seamus and Cesaro help? Ha! He called it. Um, well, I hope someone picks up that phone. Because, because I just fucking called it. Yes. Is um, what he could say. Could. I wish I could have called that. I've called many things in the past. It's called way That's more. because I work at a phone company. <laughs> Where they call IT and ask, and you ask them if they try turning it off. Thank you for calling IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yes. Try turning it off and on again. Okay. <laughs> so, um, not a shield reunion, please. I know they're going. With, no, just no. I don't want the to crowd see it. wants it. The crowd's idiots. Yes, but they're the ones who fill seats. This is tr uh, true, and Denver did seem a lot fuller. Yeah. You don't know anybody who buys tickets for these events, no, do you? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, fun fact, we're actually going to be at SmackDown in two weeks. Two tweaks. Um, I'm going to see if I can get Jack Gallagher to sign my mic, Dash. <laughs> Do I dare ask with what? Like, break a pen apart, sign it with cotton candy? What the hell do you mean? I guess sign a mustache. Very carefully. Okay. I like how you thought I was going to be gross there. That wasn't where I was well, going with it. I mean, You're you. It is me, <laughs> but for once I wasn't going to be gross. You're my best friend. Oh. I wasn't going to put you on the bus like that. Anyway, um, so... Better than taking the train. Yeah, Mickey did that. James Storm. God damn, that was a horrible segment. <clears throat> then, so okay, Miz and Seamus and Cesaro again. Yeah. Or Bo and Axel. Bo and Axel, not happy. But this leaves Bo the ability to be taken in by Bray Wyatt. And then Bo can be relevant again. And Bray could maybe win a few matches every now and then. And actually get momentum. Yeah. Like he sort of had earlier this year. When he was WWE champion. Remember that? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people seem to forget it. But, speaking of Bray. Balor and Bray. Bray had a weird promo, like, saying, you know, it, like, it almost sounded like he was doing the beginning of the Weapon of Choice song. Like, don't be shocked by the tone of my voice. So anyway. <clears throat> Balor's cutting the promo. I have no idea what Balor was saying. Oh, that's right. If he felt otherwise. And then because he don't speak potato. Idaho? Oh, Irish. Right. So, Dana Warrior seems like she could count a potato. Am I wrong? Moving forward. Yes. Um, <clears throat> who is Sister Abigail? Seems like we might be getting that. I, it should be Devay Chase, who is Samara in the ring. I mean, why not? Yeah. Um, it's probably going to be Sarah Logan, though. Which I'm okay with. People say it should be Paige. No, because Paige has already proven she's crazier outside of WWE. Plus, rumor has it that Paige is going to be on SmackDown. With Xavier Woods. Not going to make that joke. Not going to make that joke. You already did. The Woods Maddox experience. Coming to SmackDown. Ha! Down. Anyway. <laughs> Smack. Her in the face. Drugs. <laughs> All that coke. Anyway, so, hey, find out who Sister Abigail is at the pay-per-view, perhaps. Please? Go somewhere with this? I guess Randy Orton didn't actually burn down Sister Abigail's corpse in that fire, and then the House of Horrors happened. This was that was a weird feud. That was the wor that may be the worst match of the year besides the Punjabi Prison. No, the House of Horrors was pretty goddamn entertaining with got a goddamn stupid was always goddamn always. The refrigerator was more over than Reigns. Follow the buzzards. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so, one thing, they did have a couple Oscar vignettes during the show. I was fine. I I was not fine. No, you not, were not. I was not fine. I wanted to be that mask so bad. Um, anyway, I have a few issues. A lot, actually. <clears throat> you, you talked to my exes, didn't you? <laughs> Um, still, it's really nice that they're hyping up her debut. So she probably loses her first match and then uh, defeats the I know they won't do that. They couldn't possibly screw up a Japanese superstar. They, they, couldn't, they couldn't possibly screw up someone with an undefeated streak. Oh, yeah. Who's going to finger poke somebody then? Somehow that didn't read finger poke when I said it. What? I don't know. Could you try that again, but in a sentence? Uh... I forgot what I was saying. Good. Moving on. Alicia and Emma versus Bailey and Sasha. I mean, it was okay, but, I mean, Alicia looked like she was legit hurt. 
So I hope she was okay. She was losing her weave. So I guess Sasha and She Alicia... had a five head going on. It was pulled back so far. Alicia and Sasha could have a weave off. The hair, the hair versus her match, but at the end it's like... <laughs> It's like pulling a brain slug off of somebody's head, Futurama. So, <laughs> it was, it was fine. I mean, it wasn't anything great. I mean, Bailey got a pin. Cool. I'm not gonna buy into the fact that that's anything good because they don't really know what they're doing with Bailey. And then, of course, they had Enzo. And dear God, guys, what are you doing? You're ending this on the same trash you ended it on last week. Yeah. And this is trash. Because so, they got a buzz. It, it, and again, it's like I actually, I actually did tweet out at one point. If they made Enzo's neck like Peyton Manning's neck, I'd be okay with it. Hmm. And if you know that, then deep cut. Look, Enzo, I'm sure is Enzo's a douchebag. I mean, he just is. No, I mean, I think they actually realize this, and they're just making it. They're putting it on TV because he's not really getting to wrestle. He's not. I mean, Grant, he can't wrestle. I mean, Kali could wrestle better than him. Enzo can wrestle better than Warrior, though. At least now. Um, <coughs> what? Get down for room. <laughs> so, it just, Angle comes out, yes, none of these cruiserweights can touch you. Enzo came back with really lame insults for all those cruiserweights, so. He started off strong, and then I was like, Mufasa! His name's Mustafa. Well, it, Chris, if you ask Liv, I don't think Enzo knows how to finish very good, so. <laughs> She's better at bait. <laughs> uh, the master bait of Tyler. Do not drink Gross. it in. Do not drink it in. Anyway. Take that, take, if anyone's got any video editing like myself, I'm just going to take that one out of context. <laughs> Flag that. Make it part of like a little video package. Or, yeah. that, or that bit where it looks like you're deep <clears> throwing <throat> the sparkling ice. Uh, it actually looked like I had shoved back so far that blood was going out. It was really bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was like the movie. It was like, the, did you see Sorority Row? No. Girl got her blood put in an alcohol bottle when he shoved it down her throat. It was great. Seems kind of graphic. No. Stupid. Pointless. Oh, it was. Girl was hot. Anyway. Though. She liked deep throating. Anyway. So, um, Enzo, it just. Guys. You do realize that this isn't actually going to work? <laughs> Who's the new exciting cruiserweight that's going to take the championship? Oh, it's Kalisto. Yeah, it's going to build up to that, God damn it, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I just, I just, Not but, someone interesting like, I don't know, Alistair Black. Hideo Itami. Yeah, Hideo Itami. But what you said about Kalisto is perfect, though. Yeah, it is. He should have been on 205 Live from the beginning. No. Because remember the last time we saw him on TV? Me neither. I honestly don't. I think he was feuding with Apollo a little bit for no reason. Yeah. For about no it. reasons. Yeah, for no reasons. Um, eh, It just, that this is embarrassing. It just is. I Enzo is not the worst cruiserweight champion ever, though, because that is this disgusting fat fuck Ed Ferrara. Not shocking, he's, a fr he's friends with Vince Russo. Hey, what about Hornswoggle? Hornswoggle, you know what? That was because they wanted to kill off the division for good. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm actually bumping Hornswoggle down to third. Enzo's second. Oklahoma's way up there on number one. Uh, this is just bad. I mean, it's just... It, in that, let's let's you, not let that last segment sour the overall grade oh no true let's let the final part of it sour the grade because you have reigns there and then ambrose and then rollins and then they walk away yes but <laughs> the speed were you doing the end of the hulk yes okay i'm, I'm glad you got that i was like the end of the hulk As like, they like walk away slowly i mean i do agree with you that was a banner statement right there so <laughs> anyway it just Better than a different I... transforming Bruce. <laughs> Give it a moment. God, it just, it's like it's like you know snippets of truth there. Um, I don't want a shield reunion. I don't care if the crowd does. You fans are stupid. Yeah. Stop being stupid. Um, yeah. Why I don't know. I'm sorry. Not in my bins. Why, why are you so stupid? Stupid. <sighs> it's as easy as quantum mechanics, don't you know? I could not do those. Um. I know. 
I gotta be a... <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, just, um, I gotta admit, Raw was a lot better than I expected it to be. I'd give it a B. Plus. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go B plus, begrudgingly for this reason. One, I didn't care for the ending segment, but two, I didn't care for the Susan G. Scamming stuff, and I don't like Dana Warrior. Have I mentioned that? Um, yeah, <coughs> a few times. Just a few. But, just a few. Um, like every time you get a chance. Every time. But B plus, I'll agree with that because it, it the show flowed nicely. Like a five day period. Uh, and there it that, is. And on that and on that note, um, <clears throat> wouldn't it wouldn't do bad? Maybe SmackDown will be good in spite of the fact that Gender is still champion <laughs> and probably will be champion till Mania. It's like hearing the words Donald Trump is president. I still can't picture it. Neither can he. He wants to get impeached. Anyway. Is that why he's orange? (laughs) I'm Peach. (laughs) You remember what Nicolas Cage said about a peach and face-off? Think about it. No, (laughs) something. So, that's our grades for that. Do you agree? Do you disagree with what we said? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Twitter links and a thumbnail are in the description. Thumbnail from this guy, of course. This has been Real Honesty with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland. That is the Dominator. Be back tomorrow. Hi. Maybe. Bye.